Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the past trip discussions of the new topic that is called the determinants. It is this is the part one of it. So actually, what is the det determinant? Determinant is actually a scalar value that is a function of the entries of a square matrix, and it is commonly it is denoted by visually right here. D E T if it is a matrix A, we write here D E T. And we write a like D T A, or we also write is write this as. You just put two lines over here and a. It is just like an absolute value. It's not an absolute value, but for determinants we just put two lines. And right in matrix, how do we do? We just put like like a brackets. So now here it's given here if alpha. Three, four. This one, two, one, one, four, one is zero. Then we have to find the value of alpha. So now see here, this is alpha is here. So what we have to take? We have to take this. We have to consider this one. So what is that? Here we have to cross it. So what will be the first cross? This is suppose A, B, C, D. So A, D minus B, C. So here what is that? Two minus four. So that is two minus four. So when you take here, now you will take this one. So here it is going to be minus minus three. And then you are going to take this this four, so that will be you are going to cross this one, so that is going to be one minus one. Then you will take here, but this will be plus. Then what are you going to do? You are going to consider this one, so that is going to be four, four one four is a four minus two, and this is zero. So hope you got this one. So now what we will do? We will expand this one. That is. Uh, sorry, not expand, but we can just write here as two minus four. That we can also put this as mi minus four plus two. That is going to be minus two, and this is alpha. So we'll write here minus two alpha, and this is one minus one is zero. So here we can put here minus three uh, and zero over here. Four minus two that is two. So we'll put here four into two that four into two that is here. The zero as it is. So this, let us write the same over here. This is going to be zero, so we don't have to write anything here. Go to the a. So we want the value of alpha. So what will you do here? Minus two alpha plus this eight is zero. So now let us take this eight. This right as it is. Take this plus eight on the other side. That is going to be minus eight. So alpha is going to be minus eight divided by this minus two. So this what happens? Two ones are two fours are. This minus minus becomes plus. So x, this uh, the value of alpha is four. Now if for the matrix A is alpha minus two minus two and alpha, and this is the determinant of A cube that is one twenty five. So then the value of alpha is what? So now what is given over here? That is determinant of this A cube is one one twenty five and this one. So let us add the given things first. So now uh, look at here. So when we write this uh, determinant of this a, so what will you do? You are going to cross multiply. That will be alpha square. First, you will take this uh, this one. Uh, that will be alpha square. And this minus minus becomes plus. But in the formula, what do we have? That is this is a b c d. So that is a d minus b c. So that this plus minus is going to be minus. Uh, this is very important. So this is going to be four. So now we have here that is a cube is one twenty five. So If you take, uh, we can just write here one twenty five also as five into five into five. That is five cube. So yeah. So now we just want if we are taking the determinant of this a. So this is going to be this is cube. So this is going to be five. So now what will you do? This five you are going to you got the determinant of a is five. So you are going to put in this equation. Now look at here. So we are going to look at this equation. So you are going to put in this equation. So when you put in this in place of this, you are going to write five. So five is here. This same over here. So this is. I hope you got this one. So now what will you do? This minus four you will take on this side. So this is plus four. This alpha square will be as it is. So this is nine. Nine is alpha square. So you just need alpha. So alpha is. This is the when you square both sides, it is going to be plus or minus three. So here. The, the they are what they are asked. They are asked the value of alpha. So it is plus or minus three. So now look at the next problem. This is the value of the determinant. Is we have to find out this one. So what will you do here? Uh, this is very simple. You will take this six and just consider this one. So this is going to be three. 
minus 4. So what is that? 3 minus 4. Now here will be minus 0. You take this one. So what is that going to be? 3 to the 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4. So now you take here, my, this is minus 1. So put here minus 1. So now uh, take this one. So that is going to be 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 here. So now 6 as it is, minus 4 plus 3, that is going to be minus 1. My, this is going to be 0 into, that is going to be 2, that is going to be 0. This is minus 1 into this 2 minus 1 is 1. So now look at here, minus 6, and this is minus 1, that is minus 6 minus 1 is going to be minus 7. So now here they said the determinant of A is this Ka, where A is a square matrix of order 2, then sum of all possible values of K. We want the uh, possible values of k. So now this is they said the square matrix of order two means a b a we can say two by two square matrix. So two by two words means uh, here we can write as a one a two because we are writing a matrix, so we are putting this type of bracket. So a one a two a three and a four. Let us put this one and then we uh, they said this here determinant of a is k a. So let us put here Ka first in this one, Ka1 in place of here, just put K, Ka1, Ka2, Ka3 and Ka4. So now what is given over here? That is determinant of this is, so what will you put here? The same thing, this whole thing, you will put it here, but it is a determinant. So we are just putting this lines over here is equal to Ka. So same this will be here. So now what are you going to do here? this into this that will be a1 a4 and this into this that will be minus a2 a3 so this will be again the same this you are going to multiply here minus this one you will write over here so now now look at here this is now here this thing will be the same over here but here what you can see this is actually multiplication so now look at here this is going to be what this into this when you multiply that that is going to be k2 and this you will write as it is same over here this minus n over here this into this that will be k square and here this is going to be what a2 into a3 so now this again the same over here so from this one what you can see these are the two terms from this we can take common as k2 so now let us take the common as k2 so now what remains in the bracket is k2 is gone so here a1 a4 minus m as it is k2 is here so that will be a2 a3 so now this again the same so what we can do uh, we can do one thing over here this will take on the left hand side so that is going to be minus this whole thing will come here and so the right side is going to be zero so now see here, now when you take this now, now you can see this is one term, the other term. So in this bracket, both are the same. Hmm? A1, A4 minus A2. So that thing you want to take only once in the bracket. And here is one which you cannot see. So that whatever remains, that is going to be the, in the other bracket. So 1 minus K2. And that is K square. That is 0. So now what are you going to do? We want the value of, they are asked for the value of K. So let us ignore this part. So now what will be there? This is going to be 0. So now, uh, so that is 1 minus k2, k square is 0. So minus k square, that will be, if you take this 1 on this side, that is going to be minus 1. So now what you can see, both places minus means it becomes plus. Or you can just put one step over here, that k square is minus 1. And here is 1 actually, that is minus 1 and minus minus becomes plus. Anyways, you can do it. Uh, we can just, whenever both side is negative, you just ignore that sign. So that is going to be positive. So k square is 1. So k is going to be plus or minus 1. So that is k is 1 and minus 1. But then what did they say here? They want here the sum of all possible values of k. So we have to, we got the values k as 1 and minus 1. So we have to sum means we are going to add this one. So 1, we have to add this minus 1 to it. So plus minus becomes minus. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the final answer. So now here, if this is the matrix given, is non-singular matrix and A belongs to A, then set A. These are the options given over here. So now what is, let us uh, consider this as I. 
So this whole part, let us consider this as I. So now since this is a, they said this is a singular. So since I is a non-singular, so what we can say, therefore, this, the determinant of I is not equal to zero. So now what will you write here? This whole thing, that means this is not equal to zero. So now what will you do? You will take this one. This one means three minus A, three minus A over here. Then you will take here two, but whenever you take two, here should be negative one, the middle one. So now this into the, this, 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 this means this will be two minus three. Then you will take this one plus one. Then you will take this whole means two A minus nine, two A minus nine, and which is not equal to zero. Now let us solve this one. So one into this, whatever is that, that is going to be the same. So now let us expand this one or we can do one thing. We can just take here. This is minus one. We can consider this. So this is going or we can do one thing. You can just expand this one. Two to the four and this is going to be plus six. Then again here, this is uh, this was multiplied by one means. You are going to write this same hmm, is equal to zero. So this both ways you can do, I, you can do here minus one and this, then you are going to multiply this one. So answer is going to be two or you can expand this one. So I've just done here by the expanded form. You can also do by the other way. So now look at here, this is minus a and this is plus two a. So that is going to be just a. Then you will take all the constant one, this, this, this and this one. So that is going to be minus four is not equal to zero. So now we want a value of a. So a, if you take this on the other side, this is going to be a is not equal to four. That means a is not equal to four. So that is now options are given here. So here a is not equal to four means this will be the option. Now here if x is equal to minus four is the root of this determinant, then the sum of the other two roots, these are the options given. So now let us consider this, let us write it over here, that is is equal to zero. So now what, what will you do? You will take this x and then this one, x square minus two, x square minus two, then take this, but you will put minus sign, that is two. And then we are going to consider this four. So that will be x minus three, x minus three. Then you will take this one, that is plus three. Consider this one, two minus three x, two minus three x is zero. So now you are going to expand this one, so x cubed minus 2x, again this one, minus 2x plus 6, again this one, that is plus 6 minus 9x, and that is 0. So now what we can do, this x cube is alone here, but we can see x, we can see three places here. So minus 2, minus 2, and minus 9, that is going to be minus 13x, and again now this one, plus 12 is 0. So now what you can see, this is a constant 12. 12 can be this one, can be this one, 1 into 3 into 4, we can write here. But now what here they said in the question here, x is going to be minus 4 is a root. So when we put x is equal to minus 2, let us consider this as equation number 1. First root will be this x is equal to 4 is one root. So what will you do? Wherever you see x, you are just going to in this one, you are going to just plug in the values, that is x is equal to minus 4. So we put here x minus 4 cube. Then for this one, we put minus 13 into this is minus 4. This as it is, and this is 4. So now see here, now this is an odd number. So whenever we have means, it is minus 4 into minus 4 into minus 4. So three times we have minus, so that is going to be minus. And 4 for the 16, 16 for the 64. And here minus minus becomes plus. 13 fours are 52 plus 12. So now what will you do here? Minus 64 and this, when you add this, it will be plus 64 is zero. So now we got here as zero. So now what will you do? You have taken here three and three and one. So for similarly, x is equal to three and x is equal to satisfy the equation one. So now you should satisfy the equation. So now look at here. When you put x is three in this same equation, in this same equation, just look at the equation. It's 3 cubed minus 3, uh, 13 into 3 plus 12. So 3 cubed means we are going to multiply 3, 3 times, that is 27. This will be 39, and this is going to be 12. So when you 
uh, subtract this 39 and this when you add that is going to be 39 minus 39 that is 0 again you will take 1 in this place in this equation and put it in this equation but number 1 so here 1 minus minus this minus is here that will be minus 13 plus 12 so this will be 13 1 plus 12 and minus 13 so that 13 minus 13 that is going to be 0 so what we can see both the places we get over this also so x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1 satisfy the equation now what did they say the second thing over here? we have to take the sum of the other two roots so here what are we going to do we are going to take the sum of the other two roots means which one so what were the other two roots so x was 3 and x is is equal to 1 that are the other two roots right so we have to take the sum of it that means you have to add it that is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 this is the answer so by this one we have completed today's work so please do like and subscribe to the channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you